All right, welcome back. We are going to talk about synthetic division. Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about polynomial long division, and this is going to be polynomial synthetic division. Now, this is a um, this is a process that uh, it's basically a quick way of dividing polynomials. It, it doesn't really look like the polynomial long division uh, that I did in a previous video. It looks much much different, but um, it is a uh, a much faster way of doing division. You'll see that here in just a moment. Now, the process itself does, it, it, it looks very confusing. It really, really is. But the one thing you got to do, just stick with me to the end of the episode. Uh, the episode. And stick with me to the end of the video, and uh, we'll get through this. And you'll see, actually, how much easier synthetic division is than uh, your normal polynomial long division. Okay. So, the first thing that we want to do, uh, identify kind of what we're, divide, what we're dividing here. In this case... We're taking 3x squared minus x to the third plus 5x minus 1. This polynomial, this uh, quartic four-term polynomial, divided by uh, this linear binomial x plus 2. Okay, so uh, we want to we want to see we kind of see what uh, uh, what we get when we divide. Okay, now if you saw from the polynomial long division video, uh, it can get a little bit hairy about what are all your multiplying and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's act th this synthetic division is actually a simpler process. There's a little bit of setup to it though. So here's the setup. Okay, now on this on this side, what we have this is your setup right here. You have you have a number over here in this kind of little half box. Then you have these numbers that enter row right here. You have a gap right here. We're gonna put some no uh, more numbers right down here. You have this line, and then you have this box right here. We're gonna have numbers down here also. There's gonna be numbers all over the place. Okay, but this is kind of the setup. You have your box here, row of numbers. We have a gap right here. We have our line, and then we have this little kind of three quarters box. I guess you could call it down here. Okay, now where do all these numbers come from? Okay, now we're dividing by x plus 2, and so the number that's going to go in this box is always going to be the opposite, opposite of this number. Okay, so notice it's x plus 2, so the number that we actually put inside this box is going to be a negative 2. Okay, that's going to happen every single time. You just use the opposite of that number, okay? All right, then these other numbers here, what do these numbers come from? Well, notice I have this up here. These numbers are our coefficients, coefficients, coefficients. Okay, now these are the coefficients of our, of our dividend. The, the number's got to be on top right here. Okay, but notice that there's actually something extra. We have this 0x squared. Notice that there's a gap right here. Okay, there's an x squared variable that is missing there. Well, not necessarily missing, we just don't have one there. But for the synthetic division process, we have to have all of the coefficients, even the ones that are not there. Sounds kind of weird. We have to have all the coefficients, even the ones that are not there. So if a number is not there, we assume it to be 0. So this is actually 0x squared. So then my coefficients I got from up here and from this little gap. So these numbers are just the coefficients of 3, negative 1, 0, positive 5, and that negative 1 right there. Okay, so that's where those numbers come from. And now, now we actually get, that, that's the setup. Okay, that's the setup. Now we get into the actual synthetic division process. So now what we're going to do, the, your first step is actually, we're going to start here on the left side. We're going to start here working on the left. This 3 is what we're going to start with, your first coefficient. I'm going to take this number and I'm going to just bring it down. Okay, I'm just going to bring this number down. Okay, and then this right here, this, this row of numbers that I'm going to get are going to be my answers. These are going to be my answers. Okay, well, that answers, plural, my answer, singular. Anyway, so the numbers that I get here are going to be part of my answer. Now, actually writing the answer is going to be a little bit, di a little bit different, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so take this 3 and move it on down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this number that's inside the box, and we are going to multiply it times any number that we bring down here. Okay, we're going to multiply times any number that we bring down here. So in this case, for this number, I'm going to take negative 2 times 3 to get a negative 6. And that negative 6, we are going to put up here in this gap. I mentioned this earlier, we have a gap right here. Okay, so again, negative, we take the 3, brought it down. We're going to use negative 2, we're going to multiply that times 3 to get a negative 6. So that's what I have up here. All right. And then we just continue, and then we just kind of repeat this process. I'm going to bring these numbers down. This is a negative one and a negative six, which are going to combine to get a negative seven. You can also think add down. You can also think just add these numbers down to get negative seven. 
and then just continue with the process. I'm going to take negative 2, and I'm going to multiply that times negative 7 to get uh, positive 14. Forgot the number. There we go, five, positive 14. And then you just continue the process. Continue the process. So I'm going to add down to get 14, multiply up to get negative 28. Add down to get negative 23, and then multiply. Oh, this is okay. Negative 2 times 20, negative 23 is a positive 46. Okay? And then. I'm going to take negative 2. I'm going to take negative 2. Oh, shoot. Nope, I'm done. Oof, I'm done. I just have to add this down. So negative 1 uh, plus 46 is a 45. There we go. That's better. All right, so that's the synthetic division process. I didn't do my arrows for each one of these, but you can, you, we kind of get the idea. So let's recap. We, we're not going to write the answer quite yet, so let's recap a little bit. So I, take, I start right here. I start with this 3. I bring it down. And then from there, I take negative 2 times this 3 to get negative 6. Add down to get negative 7. Then I take negative 2 times negative 7 to get a positive 14. Then I add these numbers down. Okay, I take negative 2 times 14 to get negative 28. Okay, then add these numbers down to get negative 23. Then I take negative 2 times tw negative 23 for a positive 46. Then I add those numbers down to get 45. Okay, now, uh, now I've, done, I've done that entire process. And now it's a rel relatively straightforward process. Add down, multiply up. Once you have everything written out, it's add down, multiply up, which actually is kind of simple. Okay? But now from here, we need to rewrite our answer. Okay? Now this number in the box over here, this one is unique. This is the remainder. Remainder. Okay, so if you remember from our long division example, our long division, our, our, excuse me, our uh, polynomial long division example, our remainder gets written like this. I'm going to write this down here. Okay, we write it as 45 over, over what we're dividing by. Now, in this case, we are dividing by x plus 2. Okay, we're dividing by x plus 2. Okay, so that's what our remainder is. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write these numbers in reverse. Okay, now you'll see why I write them in the reverse here in just a moment. I'm going to take this 23. This is my constant number. So I don't have a variable with this. This is going to be negative or minus 23. Okay, then I'm going to move on. Now, in my answer down here, the numbers are simply just going to increase, the, the variables are going to increase as I go up to the left here. So this 14 is my linear term, so it's going to be plus 14x. Next is negative 7. This is going to be my quadratic term, which is negative 7 squared. Next is 3. This is going to be my cubic term of 3x to the third. Okay, now notice the progression, x to the third, x squared, x, no x's, remainder. Okay, notice the progression down the line. And that right there, there's our answer. So you kind of realize why I did this backwards. I started with the remainder and then worked my way up from having no x's to 1x to 2x's to, th to 3x's. Okay, alrighty. Um, that is synthetic division. That's, that's the whole process right there. Um, yeah, and uh, next video that I do will be synthetic substitution, which actually uses this synthetic division process to do some substitution stuff, which is actually kind of neat. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching.